May peace and blessings be upon you, my friends. Welcome to Storytime with Mr. F. Salam alaikum, meeting buddies. Welcome to Storytime with Mr. F. I'm very happy to be here with you today. Eid Mubarak to each and every single one of you. First, we have a special salam going out to Maryam, Sara, Hamza, and Omar Quddus. Sara, Hiba, and Habiba Yusuf. We also have a special salam going out to Maryam, Sophia, Zena, and Hannah Permal. Salam alaikum. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that all of you guys are enjoying a very wonderful Eid. So today, inshallah, we are going to read one of the stories from the book, The Three Muslim Festivals. It's a really wonderful book. If you have a copy of it, go grab it so you can read along with me. Bismillah. The Three Muslim Festivals, written by Amina Ibrahim Ali and illustrated by Aldine Hadzic. Eid al-Fitr. Musa's heart leapt as the car climbed uphill. It was the end of Ramadan and they were going to see the Eid moon. A warm breeze rushed into his shirt and puffed it out like a balloon. Will we have to fast on Eid? He asked. No, son, his mother answered. Eid is a day of celebration. They were soon at the top of the hill, overlooking the city. Tiny trees and gray rooftops darkened as the red sun set. Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! A tall man faced east and made the call to prayer. During Ramadan, the call to prayer, adhan, at sunset also meant that it was time to break the fast. This adhan announced the end of Ramadan and the beginning of the celebration of Eid al-Fitr. Look! Look! Is that it? Fatima uttered excitedly and pointed her trembling finger upwards. A hush fell over the crowd, and everybody stopped to look. Sure enough, the thin moon glimmered in the blue-black sky. It looks like a fingernail! Musa declared, breathless with happiness. Dad steered the car into a part of town Musa had never seen before and stopped at a small wooden house. A dim light flickered on the porch. Musa could smell bread baking. Who lives here? he asked. A poor family, Mom explained, as his father went inside we must give them something to eat so that Allah will accept our fast. It will also help them to share in the Eid celebrations. That night, Musa decorated the house with orange balloons while Fatima arranged bunches of sweet-smelling roses. In the kitchen, Mom poured fruity cake batter into pans. Musa's mouth watered, his eyes burned as he watched Dad crush fresh ginger and chives. Turn on the television, Dad instructed him. The Muslims are airing a program on Ramadan. The program showed Muslims eating the suhoor, the early morning meal before dawn, to make them strong for the fast. Families were filmed reading the Taraweeh prayers, which were prayed every night in the mosques during Ramadan. We may or may not live to experience another blessed month of Ramadan, Dad said. His eyes glistened with tears. We can only hope that Allah will accept the fast that we kept. It was five o'clock on a silent Eid morning. An icy chill raced down Musa's spine. His heart thumped hard as he burst into the kitchen. His family embraced one another with greetings of the holy day. Musa and Fatima exchanged Eid cards with their parents. Musa's was colorful and he had written out the greetings himself. Dad read it loudly. May Allah accept your fast and may he give you a happy Eid. Eid is a joyous day, he said. It was a practice of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to go out and enjoy this wonderful day. Hurry up, 
Mom urged as they finished praying the Fajr Salah. We have to be at the masjid by 7 o'clock. Eid Salah will be starting at 8. Musa leapt out of a steamy shower and looked around for his clothes. He hopped about the room wrapped in a towel, but the clothes he had laid out had disappeared. His leg shivered. Mom! he called. Mom! In here, Musa! his mother answered from the living room. On the couch, there was a cream-colored suit with a chocolate brown jacket. Musa swallowed hard. He didn't know what to say. For me? he asked. He ran to hug his parents. From the loving way his mother's eyes were shining, Musa knew that she had sewn it. Thank you! he exclaimed. The fabric was soft under his fingers. As the car rolled to the masjid, Musa recited the takbir softly and reverently, as his father had shown him. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah. God is the greatest, God is the greatest, there is no God but God. The rising sun cleared the morning mist and made the air crisp. They soon halted in front of the green masjid's doors. People greeted one another with joy. Musa went to sit in the front row with his father. The imam began to recite softly. Musa listened carefully and soon caught the words from his dad. They recited in praise of the Prophet, his companions, and his family. They asked Allah to bless them all. Musa loved the chanting. It grew louder and louder as more and more people arrived. The Eid prayer began at last. The Imam's voice poured out rich and sweet like honey. When we give the charity specific to this blessed holiday, Zakat al-Fitr, to the less fortunate people, it purifies us from the mistakes we made while fasting. We could not enjoy the Eid al-Fitr if our neighbors didn't have food and new clothes. Friends and relatives, young and old, embraced afterwards. They pressed dollar bills and gifts into Musa's hands. He felt that he might explode with happiness. But some people looked sad. They missed the relatives who are not alive this year, Mom whispered to him. On Eid, we must remember to pray for those of our relatives and friends who have passed away. The once empty cars parked outside were now crammed with excited people. One by one, the vehicles rumbled along the city streets. Musa clapped his hands together loudly. They were going to the amusement park. Laughing families strolled along the boardwalk. The sun danced off the sparkling sapphire lake, and Musa felt like he was flying. Older children rode the noisy roller coaster. The younger ones rode the Ferris wheel. They ate cotton candy and popcorn and sipped cold drinks. Sweat trickled down Musa's cheeks. His heart pounded and his head spun. Everyone smiled and joked. Eid Mubarak, they wished one another. A blessed holiday to you. When they got home, Fatima carefully spread the lace tablecloths over the tables, and Musa laid out trays of chocolates and biscuits. Mom cooked spicy chicken, bread, and rice. In the living room, Daddy tossed the scotch tape to Musa. Cut this into small pieces for me, he said. Musa helped him wrap dozens of toys and boxes of candies. When their guests marched in, the house shone like a jewel. Dad passed around gifts to the giggling children, Aunt Masuma gave Fatima a silk scarf, and Musa got a toy airplane with real windows. The air was filled with the aroma of delicious food and the hum of relatives and friends having a good time. Musa thought about the families who had received Zakat al-Fitr. Because of Allah's kindness, 
all the poor children were also eating tasty food and receiving gifts. Thank Allah, they were having a happy Eid al-Fitr too. When the last guests had gone, Musa's family prayed the night prayer together. Dad said special prayers of thanks and praise. Then Musa and his father sat down together on the big sofa. They didn't need to say much. They spoke softly about the day and their hopes for the coming years. Musa couldn't wait for Ramadan and Eid al-Fitr to come again. Before he could finish his thought, his eyes fell shut and he was sound asleep. The End Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us Eid al-Fitr like a present for everything that we've done throughout Ramadan. We get to have fun, we get to go out, we get to go pray in the masjid, we get to meet with family and friends, get gifts and money, and do all sorts of fun things. But we always have to remember during Eid that we share our happiness with others around us. Like if some of my reading buddies go to non-Muslim schools, it's a good idea to share some treats with your friends in class. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, taught us to take care of our neighbors, so maybe it's a good idea to share some treats with your neighbors as well. Aside from the zakat that our parents pay at the end of Ramadan, we always have to remember those in need. Since Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with so many amazing things, we have to share with those who have less than us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this an awesome Eid for everyone around the world. I really hope that you've enjoyed today's story, inshallah. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and share the video with your friends. Stay healthy, awesome, and with strong Iman. Eid Mubarak. I'll see you next time, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel on YouTube, join me on Facebook, and follow me on Instagram. Jazakumullah khairan for stopping by. Assalamu alaikum.